friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India for hands on FECO training. This patient is suffering from diabetes mellitus for the last 13 years and he has this kind of cataract, cortical cataract and posterior subcapsular cataract. The lens matter is very sticky in such cases when the patient is having diabetes for more than a decade. Let us observe this edited surgery, edited to so show some steps in slow motion. The main incision has been made, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber, the cannula is blocked, changing the cannula at this time and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Underneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out. If we do not wash out the dye, what will happen? There will be in some areas there will be more concentration of dye and in some areas less concentration of the dye. That causes some problems in visibility. So after cleaning the dye antechamber is filled up with visco and capsulorexis is being done with this uterata forceps. A nice round rexis of about 5.5 millimeter has been done. Now hydrodissection is done the nucleus was not rotated and now here goes the pre chopper this is at real time speed and now let us see the pre-chopper, use of the pre-chopper in slow motion. This pre-chopper has been designed by Dr. Sohil Irfan Khan of Nandit, Maharashtra, India. After filling up the anterior chamber with visco, the pre-chopper is in the right hand, dominant hand and the sustainer is in the left hand. Just in front of the main incision, the pre-chopper is goes into the softer part of the nucleus. The sustainer hooks the opposite equator, two instruments come to each other and the nucleus is divided into two heminuclei. In this case because of the stickiness of the lens fibers, the nucleus is resisting division into two heminuclei. Now, once the nucleus has been divided into two heminuclei, it is easy to manage the nucleus. And now the phaco needle goes in with its bevel down. Even if we fail to divide the nucleus into two, divide the heminuclease into two pieces, even then we can manage somehow. In this case, as I try to hold the hemineucleus, I cannot hold it properly. Still, I could manage. The other fragment is emulsified. As I remove the chopper, followability of the piece increases. And now, this is the management of the other heminuclease. We are going to see this in slow motion. Whenever we have the problem of holding the heminuclease and dividing it into two pieces, we need to go to one end and tumble the, bring the piece out of the capsular bag and start eating it up from some point, taking care of the stability of the anterior chamber, 
always keeping an eye on the posterior capsule. So, the nucleus has been managed and now there is some cortex from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock. It came out easily by the Simco cannula. This is a 22 gauze Simco. And now, in this case, we are going to implant a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens goes into the capsular bag. It is placed nicely in the bag. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side ports, side port, only one side port was there in this case. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. The capsular bag is washed nicely antichamber is formed very firmly and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.